Uh, for my project, I created a way to test water quality using your cell phone. Uh, so the way it works is uh, there's a device called a microfluidic co-flow device, which I use, and you put water in this device. You then use this uh, app, which I wrote, to take a picture of the water in the device, and um, it analyzes this image, and it can determine the E. coli and coliform bacteria concentrations. And I found it had a 99% confidence level, uh, so it produces the same results as the traditional water quality test. Actually, I've been uh, trying to compete in it for the past four years. I found out about it through a regional science fair, um, and every year I entered at the, um, at the state level, I never got through. And finally, uh, my fourth and final year, um, I was first accepted as the uh, state winner, then the national winner, now the international winner. Um, uh, to uh, represent the United States uh, was uh, a great honor. Um, competing in the national um, process um, was first fascinating, and when I was selected um, to go to the international competition, uh, it just showed uh, that people really are very supportive. Uh, I think people should compete in the Stockholm Junior Water Prize um, because it shows uh, why water is really a problem and how uh, finding solutions can be rewarded and then can be implemented in the real world instantaneously. I actually saw the um, Netherlands and Ghana project from last year and um, I believe they actually uh, were funded by ITT and um, their projects were used um, in a city in Ghana. Uh, the way I thought of this uh, entire idea of a water theme was in 2007 there was this huge storm in my community. I live in Short Hills, New Jersey in the United States and um, there was a, a radio announcement saying the water being piped into our homes may be contaminated due to the storm. And uh, one of my friends actually called me up and asked if there was a way to determine if water was safe to drink using materials found around the house, because I was the science go-to person in my group of friends. And I said, huh, that's a really interesting question. And I did some research. I found there really wasn't any method. So I decided to create one. And that's how I um, thought of this project.